What is up, YouTube? It is your boy, NMR Sports here, coming back at you with another video, and today is the happiest I have been in a very, very long time. The Angels signed a pitcher. Now, let, me, let me just say that again so it feels real. The Angels signed a pitcher. Noah Sindergaard is a member of the Los Angeles Angels on a one-year $21 million deal. I love the deal. We're going to get talking about it in just a second, what this means for the Angels. There's also a few other moves like Jose Barrios had a contract extension. We'll talk about if I like that or not. Uh, and a lot more but before we get into the video don't forget to hit the subscribe button and leave a like on this video and let me know down below what you think of this move do you think Noah Syndergaard is going to reach that high upside potential Cy Young candidate or is he going to you know regress a little bit coming back from Tommy John surgery uh, let me know down in the comment section let's talk some free agent baseball I love to hear it man appreciate you guys all the support lately we just had 1100 uh, subscribers so that's pretty cool Road to 2K by the end of the offseason. Help me reach that goal. Now let's get into the video. Let's start talking about Noah Syndergaard of the Los Angeles Angels. All right, so Jet Passon uh, tweeted out 10-10. It's about 20 minutes ago. Breaking right-handed Noah Syndergaard and the Angels are in agreement on a one-year $21 million deal. Now, I really, really, really like this deal because obviously Noah Syndergaard coming back from Tommy John surgery, when he was healthy, he was absolutely elite. One of my favorite players in baseball, elite strikeout percentage, man was dealing. I don't have a lot of uh, underlying metric stats on him because uh, he hasn't pitched since, what, 2019? I know he pitched in like two games last year or something like that, but overall, I absolutely love this signing, especially because it's a one-year deal. If they sign him and he sucks... Oh, well, it's gone. Money off the books next season. That's fine. But if they sign him and he's a Cy Young candidate, bro, this could be insane. And $21 million is fine by me. The amount of upside that this guy has, that is absolutely okay with me. Uh, it's not really a risk, in my opinion, because it's only $21. Uh, it's $21 million, $1. $21 million for one year. It doesn't even seem like a lot. As you can see, Angels fans going crazy in the comments section. <laughs> <laughs> my man Perry Manazian going wild we even got the jersey swap for Thor I love it that is elite photoshop skills right there my man Tyster commented on it yes sir the stove is heating up let's go ahead and look at Noah Syndergaard's stats through his career uh ERA plus is kind of an easy way to encompass how good a pitcher is and he's been above average every single year of his career until 2019 but that's when he went down with injury uh he still posted a 3.6 FIP that year even though his ERA plus wasn't amazing uh 3.6 FIP 2.8 PIP 1.31 FIP bro this is going to be a huge addition for the Angels they finally have a good solid top of the line starter you got Syndergaard, Otani, probably Patrick Sandoval, and then we got like 50 rookies to choose from. Do I think the Angels are done? Hell no. I think we're going to sign at least one more arm, hopefully two, hopefully two more arms, maybe one big arm and one, you know, guy to bolster rotation like John Gray or Marcus Stroman. But overall, this is a great start for the Angels this season, man. I absolutely love the signing. Noah Syndergaard to the Angels. And let's check one other thing right here. Uh, I want to uh, look at Jose Barrios. Now, Jose Barrios just signed a seven-year... Oh, that's the wrong... Is that the right Jose Brios? It is. Seven-year, $131 million contract extension. That's about 18-something mil a year. Uh, but look at these stats, man. I've not been the biggest Jose Barrios fan in my career. A lot of people think I hate the Blue Jays, and I don't hate the Blue Jays. Do I hate Jose Barrios? I don't hate the guy, but as a pitcher, kinda. I don't... I think he's been overhyped his entire career. He was okay when he first came up with the Twins, but overall... I, what about this screams elite pitcher to you? It really doesn't. And I understand 18 isn't that much. 18 mil AAV isn't that much. But overall, man, I, I really don't like Jose Barrios. And I really don't think his skill set's going to age well. But you guys can let me know what you think about that in the comment section down below. Jose Barrios, seven years, $131 million. And then, uh, what was it? Noah Syndergaard, one year, $21 million. 
Huge day. The stove is heating up. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Are you warming your hands over the stove right now? Because the stove is absolutely on fire. If another move is made, I will be releasing another video to you guys today. But I appreciate the support lately. Hit that sub button, smash that like button, and talk to me in the comments section. What do you think of these two moves? W, L, are we going to see these teams in the playoffs next year? Both of them missed out last year and needed pitching. Both of them, uh, you know, are acquiring or extending that pitching that they need. So appreciate you guys. See you in the next one. Y'all have a great rest of your day.